We're getting to the point in the year when it's time for me to start building some things, so that means I can go to the hardware store and pick up some new equipment. So yesterday I went there and picked up this bad boy. It's the Powermaster Plus F350S from Passload. It's got the nails in there. I went and picked up some galvanized round head nails with the little spiky things on the side so it holds them in the wood better. I got that loaded up here in the cartridge. This is an air tool, so you just connect the air hose and there it goes. Oh, dang. Hi, welcome to Can of Spader Christmas. I got a new tool. I'm kind of excited about that. But in this video, we're going to talk about this bad boy here. Uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. The, the default wiring that comes with it is okay. The thing I don't like about it is that we, we start here. It's a three ring star or has three, uh, three different, they call them rings. So it starts here, goes all the way around, comes here. And then it goes back the other way. So for most patterns, it won't be a problem. But there is one specifically that I noticed this on. And so is what kind of prompted me to change this out is the curtain pattern. And because it, it kind of does this weird stuff when you're doing an open and a close. It's very minor. Most of y'all are going to go, I understand that. But... This will give me a chance to show you if you wanted to create a custom model in X lights, uh, kind of an easy way to do it. You basically take a picture of the prop and, uh, and then you just assign the pixels and I'll show you that in just a minute. But before that, I need to rewire this bad boy. So I'm going to have to take out, well, all the way back to here. So it's quite a few pixels, most of the pixels. And, um, and then we can proceed.
So you want to try and get it flat. So if the star is here, you want to do it like this. If the star is down, you want to get it, you, you know, you want to get a flat picture so that it's not distorted. So I'm going to try and take a picture of the star. Okay, uh, so let's download the model from Biscoyo. And I am using the Chrome Star 36 3 ring. We will insert that. Now, the problem that I have with this is we start with one here, we go around to here, and then we jump up one and go back the other way. That is not what I want to do. And there is enough room to uh, go up to here and then jump over to here and continue the second ring. So that's what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to create a custom model. And I'm going to import the image that I had. No. I know, you want to see if it works or not. All right, hang on. So here we go. This is, this is the bottom. So we'll output to lights. And you see we got a, uh, a bar pattern going up. What did it reset? Just to have green in there. There we go. Hard to see the red. Okay, okay. Let's change it to a, a spiral. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do a curtain. There's a curtain. And I'm going to do open and close. And I'm going to change it to single line. And this is the one that I had the, the problem with. But, oh, let's make that a little quicker. Beautiful. Okay. All right. I hope uh, that was helpful. If you had, if you didn't know how to do that, uh, it's a pretty cool way, especially if you do any kind of custom modeling. Uh, very easy way just to, to set it up, wire it up the way you want, 
and then take a picture of it and then you can easily model it in X lights however you have it wired in so uh, it's a pretty cool technique and I didn't come up with it obviously so uh, just uh, that's just one way to do it I'm not gonna say it's the way to do it but uh, and really for something like this wasn't a big deal um, just a personal preference uh, I do like to use the curtain open and close on props and uh, so that when I saw that it was taking a little curve there I wanted to change it and then I thought hey I could show you how to do this so anyway that's how I do it and um, that's about it for this time so if you have any questions leave them below other than that Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Now, I shot an email. Uh, so, I got six of these, and so they. I got five of these when I started relaxing a little bit, and then BAM!